Now the main multi-site fungicides for apple scab control are the EBDC fungicides and Captan. EBDC fungicides include Mangazeb and Metaram, and they're sold on Apple under the trade names Manzate, Pankazeb, Polyram. EBDCs are contact fungicides. They should be used with a protectant or preventative strategy. They have to be on the leaf before the scab fungal spores arrive there. So they need to be applied to trees prior to apple scab infection periods. According to the label, EBDCs can be used with either of two treatment options, either a six pound per acre, maximum four applications per season schedule, or a three pound per acre, maximum of seven applications per season schedule. These treatment schedules cannot be combined, so select either one or the other. I prefer the latter strategy, the three pound per acre option where you can spray that up to seven times because in these current times when apple scab disease control is dominated by problems with fungicide resistance, EBDCs are excellent mixing partners for single site fungicides that are at risk for resistance development. By using the three pound per acre use strategy, you can ensure that an effective mixing partner is available when it's needed during the primary scab season. A few other notes on EBDCs. These fungicides have excellent retention properties on plants which is an important aspect of the concept of protection with the fungicide. Also, EBDCs have a 77-day pre-harvest interval, so they cannot be used later into the season. And finally, in general, scab protectants such as the EBDCs typically provide five to six days of protectant activity when used at full rate. So you have to remember, when you're using these protectant compounds, both the EBDCs and Captan, you gotta keep the spray intervals tight. Now, Captan is another multi-site fungicide that remains highly effective for apple scab control. Captan is a bit more active against scab than uh, the Mangazeb or the EBDC fungicides. So Captan has excellent redistribution properties, which means that once applied, the fungicide can be further redistributed with rain to new growth that occurred after the last spray. So that's a really important positive property of Captan. Redistribution is critical when we experience periods of warmer weather leading to rapid leaf expansion between spray applications. Now, Captain is not compatible with oil, so beware of that. And there's a 64 pound seasonal limit for the Captain 50W formulation and a 40 pound seasonal limit for the Captain 80WG formulation. Now, the combination of both of these multi site fungicides, EBDCs plus Captain, can also be used together and that makes for an excellent protective fungicide application. So you mix half rates of each of these fungicides, you get a full rate of a protectant a fungicide combination. This mixture has been referred to as Captazeb in New York. It takes advantage of the excellent activity of both of these fungicides and scab protection. It enables the three pound per acre, seven application schedule to be used for the EBDCs. And it enables the grower to take advantage of the excellent retention properties of the EBDCs the excellent redistribution properties of Captan. So that's great. The only downside to this program, I think, is that it's pretty much a scab-only program. Uh, this combination, for example, is not effective against powdery mildew. But the, the real bonus is you've got two broad-spectrum materials. We're not worried about fungicide resistance. So a Captazeb spray uh, really is a, an excellent bridge spray between two different single-site modes of action. Uh, it really has good scab control. Just remember to shorten the spray interval between your Captazeb spray and your next fungicide application.